I want to share with you some additional ways that you can help prevent cheating. One thing I like to do is use the old um, assessment tool with quizzes, and I'm going to show you what I do with that test. I'm going to the questions here, and I have two questions that all students have to answer. But then right here, you'll notice it says random question set. And these are questions three through 60. And so it takes 58 questions out of a 129 question bank. And so essentially each student that takes this test will have a different test, which really helps curb uh, the cheating because even if they look on each other's screens, there's a high likelihood that they're going to have different tests. And sometimes I'll make the question pool smaller. For example, typically I'll have about 130, 150 questions in a question bank, and I'll pool about 30. That way there's um, a lot of variance. So essentially the way you do that is uh, let's say you have your question bank established already. You'll go add question and then you go from question bank right here and you go randomize questions. Here's the animal farm one. I'm going to select this bank. And then I can tell it out of these 129 questions how many to pull. So I could say 30. And then I can give an individual point value as well. You don't have to. It'll default to one unless you want more. And there you go. That's how you do it.